So there used to be perfect harmony between road and mountain bike components, and even between the two major component manufacturers, SRAM and Shimano. But something happened after 10 speed. There was like a tower of bab moment and road components and mountain bike components just stopped working together. It's like the bike industry came together and said, thou shalt not shift together anymore. It was weird and really annoying from the perspective of the user. But since the advent of gravel, which is a kind of a weird combination of both road and mountain, component manufacturers have been slowly, and I mean at a glacial pace, have been trying to get the two disparate uh, sets of components communicating uh, together once more. So with SRAM, you can do this using their access system, but it costs boatloads of money. money. If you want the complete legit access electronic shifting way, it would cost around $1,200 to $1,500 just to have your road shifter talk with a mountain bike derailleur. And that is just bonkers. So in this case of bad ideas, we're gonna do a derailleur hack that SRAM probably doesn't want you to see, or maybe they do because you have to buy two derailleurs to do it. But essentially what we're gonna do is take the long cage from an NX Eagle derailleur and graft it onto a rival road derailleur. So this way the derailleur has mountain bike capacity but can shift with a road shifter. This is a variation of the video that we did with the Garbaruk uh, cage extender. But let's say you don't want to order apart from Poland or you have uh, NX Eagle rear driller laying about. This video is for you and I'm going to do a little bit more of a step-by-step -step walkthrough. So enough talk, let's go to the floor of bad ideas. Welcome everybody to the floor of bad ideas, which incidentally is directly above the cave of bad ideas. And once again, before we start, I am not a mechanic. Uh, if you do this, you're probably going to avoid all sorts of warranties. Uh, but before we jump right in, a couple of quick thanks. Big thanks to Ryan Witt, uh, who is a channel supporter on Patreon and also sent this care package to our PO Box. And it is some cable housing, which doesn't seem like a huge gift, but it is pretty awesome because again, you know, I am not a bike shop. Uh, you know, a lot of these parts I buy and if I break them, they're kind of on me. So it's nice to have some help offsetting the costs. And we also got a postcard. This one is from uh, St. Paul, from a guy named Richard. He says, hey, Laura and Russ, thank you for all the great content. Please come to Twin Cities on your tour. Hopefully we will be able to make it out there uh, this summer. So again, thank you, Richard. Awesome postcard. And thanks to everyone so far who has sent mail to our PO box. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, so this is the rear derailleur I'm going to harvest the cage off of. It is a SRAM NX. It says type two here, in case you're curious which clutch mechanism it is. And before I even start, is just mark the pulley wheel so I know which goes on the top, which goes on the bottom, and if they're directional, uh, that they're in the right direction. So I'm just gonna put one silver dot for the top one, and put uh, two silver dots on the bottom one. So this is simply for me, so I know when I reassemble this that the top one's at the top, the bottom one's on the bottom, and that they are uh, in the right orientation when the derailleur is held this way. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is actually engage the cage lock here. Makes it a little bit easier to get to the pulleys. So this part is pretty straightforward. I think these are three millimeters, so undoing that guy. So I'm going to set this aside. I'm going to flip this over and we will get to this top pulley. Just being careful to put the bolts with the, the right pulleys, laying it out like they come off on the drailer. Okay, and with that, we've got the uh, half the cage off. So that half. Okay, so right here is where things get kind of interesting. You'll notice how this lays uh, flat on the top here and it's perfectly cut to this curve. So I've noticed that not all SRAM derailleurs have this shape, uh, but through out of you know, luck or circumstance, um, the profile of the rival derailleur is the same. As you can see, they both have kind of this rounded cutout uh, that the, the cage sits in. And that's why this hack works between um, uh, NX Eagle and this guy. I'm assuming other Eagle derailleurs will work as well. I can't confirm, you know, I don't have a bajillion derailleurs in stock. So I, I can confirm that these two work though. First thing we're gonna do is remove this guy. Oops. And set it aside. So this is where you do have to um, uh, exercise some amount of caution. 
So what's going to happen is I'm going to release this from the lock and it's going to want to spin like two times and you want to make sure your fingers aren't in the way. So and just kind of hold it as it wants to do its thing. And there, finally it's untensioned. Now if I didn't hold it, it would have whacked my finger off or something. But here all the, the spring tension has been released. Uh, so now we're gonna undo this bolt. And boom, the cage is off. So I'm gonna set uh, the trailer body over here. And now we will do uh, essentially the same thing with the SRAM rival derailleur. So again, uh, I'm gonna put the cage lock on. So this says type three, if you're curious, and the Garbuk does uh, work with the cage lock with a type three derailleur. Um, and we're gonna do the same things here. And uh, actually I may just leave this in here since it, you know, there's no real reason to take it out, I guess. Again, this is a part where you have to exercise caution. We're gonna release it from the cage cage uh, bolt and it's gonna wanna go crazy on us. So just guide it around so it doesn't smash your fingers. And there you go, easy breezy. Okay, remove this guy. I guess in retrospect, I could have potentially left the pulley wheels on to do this. Uh, so there's that. <laughs> Always learning, okay. So boom, we've taken it out. Before I put it together, we'll take a little bit closer look at these guys. And as you can see, these have a pretty uh, kind of similar shape in terms of this, how it's cut out here and there's this rounded shape here that holds the, the derailleur cage. So I've noticed some derailleur cages lay flat directly on onto this part of the derailleur and there's no round cutout. Uh, but for the Eagle and the Rival, it has um, these round bits. So I think that's why this works. All right, so let's put on the, the cage here. So there's a little protrusion here that just notches into this hole. So that goes in like so. And we'll put in this bolt. Okay, snug that up. Now we've got to kind of wind it one and a half times to tension it. All right. All right, so I've uh, wound up the derailleur so that there's some spring tension. Now I'm gonna put in um, this little anti-rotation stop here. Now we just install the jockey wheels. Um, and yeah, good to go. Okay, got the top one in there. Putting the bottom one back in. And I'm making these tight, but definitely not he manning them in there. Okay. Bam. So we've got a rival uh, road derailleur with an eagle cage. How cool is that? I guess the next step is to put on the stand and see how it shifts. All right, so I've got our modified rear derailleur back on the bike. Uh, cables a little bit fraying. Again, I'm, re I'm trying to reuse the materials I have, people. Uh, so let's see how it shifts. So this is going <clears throat> into the lower gears. Absolutely no problem. A little back pedaling. <laughs> Dropping into the higher gears. And again, absolutely no problem. So in my opinion, this shifts just as well as it did with the Garbaruk uh, cage extender or even just the stock SRAM rival uh, cage. Again, something that SRAM probably doesn't want you to do and will make your local bike mechanic cringe, but is an awesome hack and one that I actually feel pretty good about recommending if you happen to have the parts. I mean, you could find 
old NX Eagle rear derailleurs uh, on eBay or maybe at the local bike co-op so you're not having to buy a brand new derailleur like we did uh, to make this hack happen. If you're interested in more ways to mix and match road and mountain bike parts, be sure to check our Cave of Bad Ideas playlist. And if you haven't already, and I know that you're a tire nerd, uh, be sure to check out our video that we did with Silka talking about myths and misconceptions around bicycle tires. If you like content like this, hit that subscribe button. And as always, keep the supple side down.